Okay, very quickly before I go to bed, I want to make something real clear. Uh, doubting that you're saved is not proof that you're not saved. And uh, especially grace believers, don't put that on new believers and people who just struggle to believe that they're saved. That's called being weak in faith. What you do is if you can have a moment of time with that person who's struggling with their doubt, ask them if they believe that Jesus died for their sins, according to the scriptures, and rose from the dead according to their justification. And then when they say yes, ask them, uh, take them to like John and places where it says, he who believes on me is not condemned. Uh, and ask them if they believe that. They'll say, if they're saved, they'll say yes. But they may struggle to believe that it applies to them personally. That does not mean they're not saved. That just means they're under attack or weak in faith. The ones we are saying are not saved are the ones who insist that works are the way to get to God and twist the definition of faith and make it into an absolute. We're talking about the ones who are armed and loaded with scriptural arguments against grace, who call it an unclean thing and insist. That's not the same thing as someone who's weak in the faith and has, because of that, all kinds of considerations uh, and legalistic tendencies and is plagued with doubts. And I recommend that everybody read um, Grace Abounding to the Chief of Sinners by John Bunyan. I think you can find it online sometime. To, if you've never been through the fight, that's a good, a, a good documentation autobiographical autobiographical documentation of the kind of mental agony that a person goes through as they struggle to lay hold of assurance and that's a real thing and I, for me it took years I was saved I was regenerated I could not deny that Jesus was the son of God and that he died for my sins but every other day, I was plagued with fears and doubts, uh, all kinds of different kinds. Of, and, and, and I wasn't sure that I really understood. And I wasn't sure, you know, that I really had saving faith. You know, I, had, I fell into every kind of definition. Sometimes I thought that, you know, I was saved, but I'd be in outer darkness during the millennium. Sometimes I thought that I was uh, not saved or I wouldn't endure the end, that maybe I'd apostatize and backslide uh, because I didn't understand. Nobody, there was no one there to help me with the truth. I had to figure it all out, you know, but the Holy Spirit helped me. But I went through every, my, I, I, I like to say I tripped every trap. God took me on a tour. And I'm telling you, it's an agony. Um, and we are not the ones to judge. And so that's one of the reasons, I think, why we have to forgive those who despitefully use us and bless those who curse us because you don't know who's really saved. God, Jesus is the one who tries the reins of the heart. He knows who has genuine saving faith. The Lord knows who's his. All we can do is contend and fight for the truth and keep making it clear that the blood of Jesus is what saves you and not your works. But do not accuse someone who says that they believe that Jesus died for their sins and rose from the dead of not being saved if they don't have a clear enough witness from the Spirit and a clear enough sense and, and, and they're falling into fears of various kinds. They need help. And they're th hungry and thirsty for it. At the same time, there's the dogs and the Jew geysers, the wolves, the legalistic attack dogs that are sent out by the s Satan. And you can know them by their fruits. Um, the 
one who's just struggling with their own assurance is not going to turn and devour you. They may argue because they're trying to get clear, but they're not going to devour you. You know the difference in that sense. But, um, but I've just seen a couple people say, and, and you know, it's our tendency to do this. We want to, we want to say, well, those people are out. You know, that please, this is uh, salvation is not faith that you are in great shape it is faith in the work of jesus christ do we believe that do we believe that he's the son of god who died on the cross for my sins you know and that is w born witness to by the spirit it's unshakable the even when i thought i wasn't saved you could get me back to that point and i wouldn't deny it whereas a wolf will say yeah but and then proceed to launch attacks on you personally. That's how you know. Um, whereas someone who's just not clear w might say, yeah, but I think maybe, I don't know that, I, I don't know, you know. There, there's just a different kind of stance. You gotta sense by the spirit, you gotta pray, you gotta know who you're dealing with. Don't make the blanket statements. Don't, especially for new believers, don't shake them further. The enemy's already attacking him. He's a lion seeking whom he may devour, you know. And he loves to cast all kinds of aspersions on believers. He's the, he's the accuser. And he does uh, try to get new believers and weak believers to think they're not saved. And he gives any, for any reason, you know. So, and he uses the stupid argument. It looks like he's going to start using the stupid argument that grace believers are legalistic about grace. So, um, we say that if you believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins and he rose from the dead for your justification, that is evidence that you're born again. And that shake, that unshakable foundation won't leave no matter how much you doubt your personal condition. That's something you need to grow in, in assurance. And then we discern between those and the enemies of the truth, the enemies of the gospel, and we need the Holy Spirit to help us discern sometimes. Okay, uh, hopefully that helped. Take care.